It's Miranda. It's 3.30 a.m. I've been awake for about an hour. And this is one of those nights where I'm waking up like every hour, every other hour type of thing. Where I look at the clock and I'm like, why am I awake? And then I go back to sleep. But then I wake up again. And it's a little too awake. And I'm tossing and I look at the clock and I'm like, what the hell? It's only been an hour. It's one of those nights. I just wanted to do a little chatty chat because I don't feel like playing anything right now. I can't think of playing anything right now necessarily. I'm sorry if I ramble or I rather I'm sorry if I don't make the clearest of sense right away when I'm tired and it takes me a while to get to the point more than usual. Also, because I don't, I'm not editing this. I'm making it a point to keep it whole. Um, what is that? Oh, it's just, it's my pillow. It looks so bright. <laughs> I was just going to say that I'm always saying life is hard, life is rough, life is crazy, life is weird, but I realized life is always all of those things. What really is happening is my mental capacity, my emotional capacity. It all changes. It changes. Sometimes due to hormonal reasons, environmental, just situational reasons, but it's definitely me who sometimes has zero problems handling certain things. I'm just like, it's fine. And other times, I, I just, I'm in shock. And it takes me way too long to process. And like, it just looks like I'm zoning out. It doesn't really look like I'm panicking. It doesn't look like I'm upset. It just looks like I'm like, but what's happening is all of the things I can't deal. And I made a comment on a TikTok, which I'm slowing down my TikToks. But I made a comment about how if someone, and this is not about Kevin, I always have to say that just to make sure, especially because we are getting separated. This isn't about him. But when someone like practically makes fun of you for being overwhelmed by something. They're like, well, you can't handle things. Like I said, that's not Kevin. When you realize later that this person sees that you're kind of struggling, that you are getting overwhelmed by something, and they're making fun of you for that, they're not saying, oh, maybe you need some help. They're saying, <laughs> you're pathetic, you're weak. When you're not, you're just having a struggle that some people have. Luck lucky for them, they don't. But at the same time, if they can't even attempt to understand why somebody else's brain might actually work differently than theirs, instead of saying, no, that's, that's not possible. I am the center of the universe. I don't know what to say. That's a, that's a shame. Because, you know, you'd love for things like that to be teachable. I've, I love it. I love it when I am... Lately, I... I realize how many things in the past that I am I was like not necessarily wrong about but very narrow minded and it's like it, like with good intentions but then I realized oh I was missing a, a big chunk of something because I was not living other people's lives and they were not living mine either so either either how I, I switch with that too and I'm such a sponge with the aesthetics and the vocalizations people have that I tend to change my voice sometimes for no reason. It just come and it just comes and goes when I'm talking. I'll suddenly have an accent. I'll just do this and I'll accidentally mimic someone's accent I'm talking to if they have a very specific accent. 
try to catch myself, but I have a hard time not doing that. I'm one of those people. But I've come to recognize myself a lot more. And I always said, oh, I don't really, people said, so I'm like, I don't really panic. I'm actually very, I seem level-headed, but sometimes I can just, especially after my 20s, I can erupt. Beforehand, it didn't happen nearly as much, at least not as obviously. You know, you want to be a good girl. But then... You have like a breakdown in like, I want to say my early teens that nobody knew about because it was in a shower. But you went on a cleaning streak right afterwards that people did notice. They just didn't know why. You knew why. And there was another big one that did happen much more publicly at The Wiz. I had a bit of a meltdown, breakdown. It, I believe it was a bit of a nervous breakdown in my early 20s when I worked at The Wiz. I'm bringing this up after Scourge of Worlds. What a shock. I bought it from there. I worked there and one day I was, I snapped and I had a breakdown and I had to go to the bathroom. I screamed at myself in the car. I was hitting my steering wheel. I had to leave that day. I, I basically told the managers, I have to go. And they saw it. They saw it. They did not argue with me. And I walked in the door at home, and the first thing I had to say, because my mother and sister were there, was because I was still crying and sobbing and shaking. Um, not enough to, to drive, like, not carefully. It's... I compartmentalized as I was crying my brains out. You know, I'm when you're. I had to drive safely. The second I walked in the door, like I said, I had the the state of mind to realize that the second I walked in the door, I had to alarm them that it wasn't. I had to de-alarm them that these tears weren't about anything that happened specifically, that it wasn't. I walked in, I said, nothing happened, nothing happened the second I walked in. I said, everything's okay, I don't know why I'm crying. That's what I was saying to them. And then, um, I think we put on either a movie or a short film at some point. I think we put on, I feel like we put on a short film before we put a movie. I don't really remember. I just know that I had to do a puzzle. I sat on the floor in the sunroom while they watched something and I did a, just one of those big jigsaw puzzles. I just started doing it. I just need to keep myself busy. Eventually the tears stopped. Um, I've learned to deal with myself better. So when the tears happen, for example, the, the video I did, it's always around September and October, oddly enough. I think I started this channel sometime around, like, close to, like, fall. It might have been, like, August or something. It always seems to be around the same time I start really getting creative and putting stuff in and then getting emotional. Um, I gotta, I gotta figure out why that happens, too. But, besides it just being seasonal affective disorder... But um, when I started my channel, I, I started it because I was tired of crying by myself. Because I was talking to myself, and I, and I realized while I was talking to myself that maybe somebody else needed to see that. And maybe it would help me if somebody else was like, I know what you mean. The thing is, nobody really ever did. I had a couple of people in my life reach out to be like, are you okay? I told them, yeah, actually, that was one of the least meltdown meltdowns I've had because I like really just calmed myself down very quickly when I turned the camera on and started talking. And um, I tried not to have another meltdown on camera or anything. Um, unfortunately, I, I wish and I don't wish 
that I had documented more of my going through the breakup of our separation before we officially talked about it because I did I went through an entire breakup while I was recording videos because I couldn't say anything what was I gonna say he was we weren't we weren't separated we were still married it, like I wasn't gonna be like I want to divorce this man what that's awful we're still married like why would I do something like that my brain really wanted to but I knew I couldn't so I kept it to myself it's hard to do stuff like that I know some people online share everything pardon me and I feel like some people online think that I share a lot I share bits and pieces there's clearly a lot that I'm holding back because I just don't think it's I don't think it's appropriate or the timing isn't right or it didn't fall it involves somebody else I don't remember where I started in this video <laughs> I was talking about just like having breakdowns at some point another interesting thing I noticed by the way seems like every every 10 or so or so I missed a chunk for some reason it feels like but like in my early teens and in my early 20s but I feel like maybe not in my early 30s but now my early 40s um, I just have this creative streak where I just feel like doing things I wonder if that's related to hormones or something it's like whoop you're premenopausal lady or paramenopausal or whatever it's called because it's you look it up I see I've seen conflicting things online when it comes to that too and I'm still TMI to anyone who doesn't care about this stuff but I'm still regular so I don't even think I'm that close to that but my hormones feel nuts one month I'm all over the place and another month I'm like oh I'm getting my period I was a little sad it's very different <laughs> that's not consistent oh and sometimes ovulation is just as bad as a period in terms of just like how I feel and bloating it's like what the hell is this it's the middle of the freaking my back will ache so much and I'll be like why is my back hurting I didn't do anything yesterday I'll look at the calendar oh <laughs> it'll all make sense all right I really should stop now well I've been I've been, I've been rambling I've been rambling for 13 14 minutes yeah 13 minutes okay well I hope my rambles help anybody at this point because if anytime I have this little bit of insomnia I might I might just do this and call it the insomniac cast I can't call it the insomnia cast I looked that up but that was everywhere so I added an extra C I did that on purpose behind the scenes okay I'm gonna go now this quality is not great I don't even have a light on sorry I haven't had the green screen up but it's hard to put it up and take it down and because I have the projector on the same wall okay you don't need to write but okay 14 minutes bye <laughs> good night I am going back to sleep check the description if I actually do